You've seen God heal your body. You've seen God feed you without a job. You've seen God get your bills paid. You've seen God make a way out of no way. But all you need is one piece of bad news. I ain't talking to nobody but myself today. All you need is for one somebody to say the wrong thing. All you need is for one thing to go wrong and we forget about the power of God. And so here this great prophet is, Marilyn, who has slain 450 prophets of Baal, 450 idol worshipers, 450 idolaters, 450 prophets who have worshipped a weak and impotent and powerless God. Here is Elijah the Tishbite who has been anointed from his mother's womb, who has been given a great assignment and one chapter later after such a great victory he is ready to slit his wrists and die. Come on, don't look at me funny. Some of us have been in the same place. So I found out the greater your anointing, the more you have to fight depression. The greater your anointing, the more you have to fight against the onslaught of the adversary. Oh, if you ain't doing nothing, if you ain't kicking up no sand, the devil ain't coming after you. But I double dog dare you to start being a threat to the kingdom of darkness. I double dog dare you, y'all ain't saying nothing, to start trying to live right. Start trying to live holy. Start trying to please God and watch the enemy come after the juggler. your neighbor said the devil is out for your juggler Elijah is just like us he had forgotten about the power of God because no doubt he felt like most of us when we are under attack overwhelmed overextended overworked underappreciated and underappreciated he had lost his spiritual vitality. Seemed like he was the only one trying to serve God. Come on, you know sometimes you feel like you're the only one trying to live holy. You feel like you're the only one trying to be honest. You feel like you're the only one trying to do your job right. Ain't but five of y'all going to answer. But if you're here, you ought to holler. Let me hear you holler. Sometimes you feel like you're the only one in here that's trying to do the will of God. Elijah was just like us. The threats and intimidation from Jezebel had worn on his psyche. Can I tell you that the enemy will wear on your psyche? He'll wear on your psyche, y'all ain't hearing me, more than he'll wear on your physical body. I'd be willing to bet you that most of us are not as physically tired as we are mentally tired. We are not as physically tired, Lord help me preach this, as we are emotionally tired. We are not as physically tired as we are psychologically tired because warfare will wear on your psyche. Has anybody ever just felt tired inside? Just didn't feel like going no further. You got a smile on your face. Come on here. I came for you today. You got your makeup on. You dressed up. You booted and suited. You looking good as a government check. You smelling good. You sharper than Dick was when Hattie died. But on the inside, I wish I had somebody. You ought to just say on my inside, I'm woe out on the inside. I'm tired on the inside. I'm tired of struggling. Tired of going through. Tired of being lied on. Tired of being talked about. Tired of being broke. Tired of looking for a job. Tired of my haters. I'm just, ain't nobody. Out of here. Warfare will wear on your psyche because the battle is not as much physical as it is spiritual. Because the enemy wants you to do more than anything else on this first Sunday of the year is turn your back on God. He wants you to give up on God. He wants you to renounce God. He wants you to decide that it doesn't pay to serve God. But I'm on assignment this morning to tell you that the devil is a liar and that you can make it and that he didn't bring you this far to leave you, to embarrass you, nor to surprise you. If you're the only one left, you all look at somebody and say, if I have to be the only one left, I'm going to serve God to, with the all I got. If I'm the only one left, I'm going to give God my best shot. I wish I had somebody in here. If I'm the only one left that's trying to be faithful, I'm going to do the best I can. If I'm the only one left, I cannot allow the warfare to wear on my psyche. 